Hey guys, uh, Power in here doing a figure review this time around on one of my oldest figures that I've had with me for the longest time. My very first Godzilla figure from the movie GMK or Godzilla Mothra King Ghidorah All Monsters Attack. This is right here is the Ghost Godzilla uh, resurrected by the dead to basically take vengeance for basically being ignored. Uh, or forgotten. That, well, that's the synopsis of the movie. Basically, basically, the dead, those who have died in World War II, basically, was a cold. Uh, got angry about being forgotten and not being remembered. So basically, they resurrected the original Godzilla and made him go rampage. And then the people of Japan had to call on the Guardians to protect him. And those Guardians were Mothra, King Ghidorah, I think King Caesar. I'm pretty sure, and Angerus. Yeah. Anger is yes, because I remember uh, the brutal scene where Godzilla basically destroys uh, King, uh, Anger is, uh one of his allies, and what's it called? It was brutal. Uh, King Caesar, I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure King Caesar was there too. It's been a long, it's been a long time since I've seen uh, GMK, but it's still a pretty good movie. I'm pretty sure I'm good with the, how many monsters and whatnot. In the end of the movie, basically, Godzilla gets defeated by the combined power of all the monsters combined together into King Ghidorah, who becomes... Phantasmal King Ghidorah. I'm not pretty sure of the the whole naming archetype for it, of how what they become and whatnot. But what's it called? Or I'm just gonna call it Supercharged King Ghidorah, and basically defeats Godzilla. And the only thing left to Godzilla is a beating heart, which I was hoping for a part two, but we never got that. Maybe one day we'll get a part two of GMK. Maybe one day. But for the meantime, uh, let's go with the uh, little bit review of this figure. Uh. Overall, uh, despite the years I've had this, which I think is almost nearly 20 years, maybe 15, give or take. It's been a long time since I've remember when I got this. Uh, Design-wise, it still looks pretty nice, how it is. It's a little bit dusty because it's been on my shelf for a good number of years and whatnot. Paint job is still pretty well, pretty well. It's still pretty good. There's some chipping around on the fins and whatnot and where the white parts is. But overall, it's still pretty nicely designed. Probably, I could probably go in and just paint those up and just fix it up, but... I'm not gonna do that. It's a little bit more sentimental, and whatnot. Uh, the huh, the design of this is actually probably one I think most used in a lot of the Godzilla symbols. When it go forward, like the um, outlook for design wise or emblems or insignias for it, it's the probably most famous one for me. Uh, its movement is pretty nice. It's able it to move its arms and whatnot. Maybe not as best as a lot of new new Godzilla figures you can see, but it's still pretty nice, especially for a kid who wanted this. The pretty nice, nice, good movement and whatnot. Uh, and still sturdy despite all, all, over the years. It's still pretty sturdy, which is good because let me tell you, a lot of toys by this point, if they uh, they become loosey goosey and they pop out and then trying to put them back is always hard, unless you're a good toy repair person. What's it called? Uh, overall, still nice in design, still intact, still pretty good. And I love it. It is my very first Godzilla figure, and I will treasure it always. This is like, when it comes to childhood, this thing right here, number one, nothing's ever going to beat it. Like, despite my Gundams, my other figures, and all that that I have, what's it called? I may call favorites in some of them, too, because you age and whatnot, and you grow, and you find new favorites and whatnot. But this right here will always be number one. It's my first Godzilla toy. It's my, uh, my childhood memento. Nothing's ever going to replace it. It is, a, it is one of my favorites. I, I know everybody out there has like a favorite of something they cherish to this day that either they still have to this day, which I commend you because let me tell you, I'm glad I still have this one right here with me because the amount of times I moved and lost almost everything I had is a lot. And just to rebuild is always, it's always a hassle. But once again, to those who've lost theirs and been wanting to try to get them back, good luck. Uh, but yeah. This is my GMK Ghost Godzilla uh, review. And we'll be seeing more of this because I have more Godzilla figures. Not a lot. Not as much as collection as my Gundams, but it's a pretty, uh, pretty good amount to, despite some of the stuff. But with that out of the way, this is Power Arden with my GMK Ghost Godzilla signing out. And I'll see you guys on the next review.